So here I am once again, completely sold out on the idea that if we just start talking to ourselves, um, it'd be a completely different world. This morning, um, Ethan Zuckerman tweeted about um, the stories of Africa and how we well, this whole thing that I'm going to talk about is about the drama that we're drawn to. Um, what I love about Ethan is, and what I take from him, is the whole, he calls it um, imaginary cosmopolitanism, and how we think we're going into the world and learning all these things and, and doing good and But we, we end up focusing on something very similar to us. Um, we find people just like us in different countries. Or this morning, um, we find this traumatic, um, very Hollywood-ish story, which is true and it shouldn't be taken lightly, but then we categorize all of Africa that way. Um, and so we spend a lot of time on something like that. I just heard on the, the way here a lady talking about um, her son have, having spina bifida, something that they had to get um, for him that costs like $130 a day, and they had to have it for 18 months, um, and had no help. And they were talking about somebody just, you know, doing a big deal and raising a bunch of money for this person that was in a very similar situation. Um, and then the recent, it's gonna, controversial, but I think we're spending so much time on the controversy, this is my point. So Chick-fil-A, um, all the protests, even Occupy, or especially Occupy maybe, um, Jonah Lehrer, um, I, I read his book, I loved his book. Um, in the scheme of things, now we're going on a rampage about what he did and how it discredits him. Um, I don't know the story, so I'm everything I do is in ignorance. Um, but my perception right now, with what I know, I applaud him for um, saying he lied. Um, I also question us. Now I'm hearing Richard Saul Warman, the society that we've created and also hearing Katherine Schultz, or we can't just say, I don't know. Um, I mean, what we're doing right now with Jonah Lair and Chick-fil-A and, and Africa and people that have, we're not letting people be themselves and be truthful. We're not a trustful people. Um, we point the finger too much. Um, Chris Ar Argeris, um, his whole How to Learn post, we spend so much time on defense, and the more academic that we are, the worse we are. Maybe not. I mean, maybe we're all just, we just get worse. Um, so that's my thing today. I think the only way to change that is for us to talk to ourselves every day. Um, we spend so much time, again, pointing the finger or playing defense of ourselves. What would happen if we just each asked ourselves every day? Was I legit today? Um, do I feel good about my day? What can I change about my day? Um, to me, that's the only way. It's We each need to come to the table as a person. We're the only expert of ourselves. We, we will be the only expert of ourselves. We're the only one that knows what's going on inside. And all this speculation and finger pointing is is getting us nowhere. If we like it, 
Um, we've gotten really good at it. I mean, we should just give ourselves an A plus and move on. If you like all the measuring um, in Kathy Davidson's post, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but um, we have gotten good at being efficient and measuring ourselves. If we believe in that, let's let's give ourselves an A plus, but let's move on. Let's talk to ourselves every day and decide if what we're doing is important and it matters or if we could be spending our time in a more humane way, um, in a way that makes us feel better every night when we go to bed and every morning when we get up.